Ow! Hi, this is Emily, and this is episode 121 of the SportMartialArts.com Minute for Sunday, December 22nd, 2019. If you love sport karate competition, this is the show for you. The clock is ticking, so let's get started. It's a special day because it's Joey Greenhall's birthday. If you were paying attention, I released a Minute episode featuring some of Joey Greenhall's bow video we filmed with him that years ago, and this show opened with a clip of him. Watch for Joey sightings throughout this show. But the topic is actually Raymond Daniels doing another fight analysis. There are tons of birthdays today, so let's give some birthday shout-outs to Joey Greenhall, of course. Angel Luis, Venceslav Alasnov, Iker Marin, Kimber Johnson, Anna Fivrero, Daniel Osario, Kevin Gilbert, Diego Carrera, Jimmy Kane, Letty Lindo, Pablo Moreno, and note that his profile photo is his wife and Ross Levine. That is a bromance that will never end. Kyra Ray, Lisa Napolitano, Raj Chirpel, Kendall Lane, Nikos Memos, Juan Garcia, and Jesus Caldera. Happy birthday to all of you. Wow, that was a lot to get through. We're excited because the 2020 competition season is starting with the AK Warrior Cup. We'll be live streaming from as many rings as possible throughout the entire event, as well as live streaming the Underbelt and Warrior Cup finals. Make sure you're part of our live audience. Register at akwearcup.com, and we'll see you January 24th and 25th in Chicago, Illinois. Hey, look, it's Joey. Happy birthday, Joey. Here are the Sport Karate updates for you. Chloe Bruce has agreed to take on the role of coordinator for forms and weapons in the new WACO GB circuit. This means she is back in the Sport Karate world, hoping we'll see her and catch up more at the Irish Open. I'm loving the 2019 recaps that parents and competitors are posting. Here's the recap from the Twadell family. And Adam Gobinas had also had a great 2019, which included advancing to black belt. Aiden Matthews set some super high goals for 2019, and he smashed them. He's looking forward to even more success in 2020. My friend Terry Kramer has joined Team AKA as their new senior team coach. This is a great pickup for the team. 2020 could be an interesting year in the executive divisions. Congrats to Chiara Dituri and Tyreek Saint for advancing in rank recently. French and Christian Bion, French and Christian Bion also just completed best belt testing and they passed. And Faith Olson is on her way to her next black belt degree. And we did a poll in the sportmartialarts.com community group about what people are doing during the holiday break, and the overwhelming response was training for 2020. Here's a group that got together and did some recent training in South Carolina with the Spence Boys. I want to see your posts about what you're doing to train and prepare for the next year. Let's all motivate each other to be our best in 2020, and make sure you join the community group and post all about it. The feature today is Raymond Daniels. In 2005, I visited him at his, Raymond, at his martial arts school after the Computer Internationals, where he had won the overall grand champion title. I had him break down some of his fights. Here's his analysis of fighting Jason Borelli and kickers in general. What would be your ideal tournament? My ideal tournament would be one point for all kicks and two points for punches. That way I'll be able to dominate everybody. And you guys will see how hard I have to work to hit you guys. You get two points for a kick to the body. I only get one point for punching you in the head and knocking you on the ground. I only get one point. Like That's not as good as you throwing a bent leg kick when I was punching you in the first place. No one is fighting me and Jason. I missed it. And Jason, Tankson, and Borelli. He confuses me with his names, but I love you, Jay. Um, he's one of them, I would say, uh, I have chemistry when I fight with him, so that's why it makes it uh, so hard. It's, kind of, it's more like a, a chess match. Like when I fight him or Jack or Jack Felton or Mike Pombero or Johnny Tension. It's more like a chess match, you know, you can't make any mistakes, you gotta, you know, know what you're doing, and when you do, do something, you can't hesitate, otherwise you gotta get hit. Um, Jason's uh, got the strongest front leg I think I've ever seen, especially with his axe kick and his side kick. Uh, and he leans his head back in and out really good, so what a lot of times what I try and do to him is uh, set him up with uh, the body punch because he leans his head so back so far. Um, he actually has an injured hand, so I was trying to take advantage of him a little bit by uh, stepping in on him with the back fist. Um, <clears throat> what I try and do on fighters like Jason with strong legs like that um, are people that tend to kick a lot is I uh, use my um, circle and ability. Okay. Yeah, what I try and do when I have uh, kicker fighters is nobody can really kick for a whole two-minute fight. Nobody. 
Um, nobody has enough winner, at least not anyone I fought um, before. I would like to fight Pedro to see uh, how well he kicks uh, during the whole match. But uh, I usually work my movement um, for the first about 20, 30 seconds, and then they're usually tired out. They're coming with the same kicks, the same speed, but they don't have the same amount of energy and power behind them. So then it makes it a little bit easier to step on. If you notice, like throughout the fight, as the fight starts to continue on, you'll see me stepping in more on, on the kicks, like when people are throwing their axe kicks and stuff like that. Um, I also look for uh, people shuffling up on the kicks if they're taking like skip steps and stuff like that. Jason's a fighter, a great fighter. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes uh, when he's kicking. He has a really good uh, chamber. So it's uh, really hard to step in. And when you step in, you have to really commit. Otherwise, you know, he's probably going to axe kick in your face. a lot too is the wall defense where when I'm reaching with one hand I always keep my left hand at bay if you notice I keep my front hand check in and my left hand in um, for people are trying to side kick me I call it the wall if you watch video one you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about and the key thing is uh, I fought an overtime right there key is confidence having confidence in what you're doing I hope you're having a great day today and that this was a helpful episode. Please take a moment to like and share this video and help me spread the word about our amazing sport. Don't turn tune out until the video is over. Time is up. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time on the SportMartialArts.com Minute. And one last happy birthday to Joey Greenhall. Hi, I'm world champion Joey Greenhall. Never mind.